M0FXB. Let's talk about the ICOM 7300 Mark II receive antenna. So you see the image here. Now, if you look closely at the label, the one nearest the large fan is the input. So you'd connect your receive antenna there. OK, now I've got my radio connected. Here. I'm going to show you, but it is a beautiful radio, of course. I mean, look at that. Let me just quickly show you the, the menu selections that you make when doing this. So right now I'm connected to my receive antenna. It's the same antenna I would normally use uh, for my transmit. So we've, we've connected, if we press main function here and it says RX antenna on. If I turn it off, it goes back to uh, receiving on the SO239 on the rear. So uh, we're, we're receiving here, you see there, SO239. We were receiving here. Now the right hand one, the one furthest away from the fan, is actually labelled as the out. And right now, if I show you my uh, my flex radio here, you'll see that my flex radio. Now I'm not saying it's the mo it's the best signal. It's hard to say because I haven't had time to test it. But if I um, enable the volume side and the radio, I can turn the radio off. Yeah. So the radio right now is completely off. Yeah, but I am connected to. Let me see if I can get this volume up so you can hear it. Uh, da, 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 audio. Oh, you might hear that anyway. And this is the MD-100. Sounds OK by the, by the sounds of it. It does. Uh, yeah, you're all about the uh, uh, offset. So the, the RF is coming out of this radio even when it's turned off. If I turn it on, OK? I'm going to go up. You'll see there's no... There's no signal there now. And we go function, turn on our antenna on, and we're back there. And as it backs out, you can see there's lots of activity and, and it's working well. So it's really interesting. Now, if we look at the instruction manual, because I've had a station message me saying you cannot um, get an antenna signal from that connection, but you you can. Now, whether it was designed for that, I don't know. But if we look at the instructions here, because it's very short on the RX antenna in and out, it says connect to a receiver antenna, RX antenna in and receiver to an RX antenna out. It says it straight away. The in and the out is still um, 50 ohms, but it does say unbalanced, usual. Uh, connect to type SMA. And it says when the RX antenna is turned on, the function screen, a signal received from the antenna connector is output to RX antenna out and RX antenna in is connected to the receiver. You can also connect an external preamp or filter uh, to return the received signal to RX antenna in. OK, so and then they've had, there's an actual diagram here, receiver, and it's I, I, I it felt like it was a switcher. It felt like that what they'd really done was fitted a switcher and then you could have two antennas connected, one on the receive, one on the SO239. And when you uh, enable the receive antenna, you could actually use another antenna. Now you can't transmit on that antenna. It will always uh, transmit on the SO239 and you can see the circuitry there. So that's how they've done it. Now I actually asked ChatGPT, have you ever used ChatGPT here? Because ChatGPT will analyze a document. So I actually sent it a photograph of the um of the document okay that we just looked at and it said yes rx antenna out sma can feed an sdr receiver but only in receive and with a few important caveats and it says here what rx antenna out actually provides and it says here 50 ohm balance it, you know what we just read signal is present only when the rx antenna is on in the radio well, I'm, I'm not finding that true. I'm finding that the signal was present even when I turn the radio off, OK? Um, instead of directly into the internal receiver, allowing external devices to be inserted in the RX path. So 
feeding an SDR from the RX antenna out, yes, this works and many people do it. Well, I don't know why it's saying that because the radio's only just come out. But then you've got this thing, and I've heard it before, about diversity reception, wideband monitoring, and pan adapters and waterfall. And typical setup here, 7300 antenna out, SDR, RTL, S, S by SDR play, all the ones that we've got. So that's it really. So what do you think? I mean, all I can say to the station that said, no, it can't feed an SDR, it can. Now, maybe it's possible that that signal might need some amplification. I'm not really sure. But according to my flex radio, which is here and um, is being is using that same antenna right now. If I can get the uh, audio up. No, I can't, of course, now that I want to get it up. But you can see the signals there um, just here. And it's it's getting signals, you know. Uh, from that and from the out antenna of the 7300 Mark II. Let me know what you think. Bye.